Today I'm going to be uh, cleaning up the inside of my Sony Vio laptop. Um, this used to be my main one um, until kids used it more than I did. Uh, trouble is every time uh, it gets warm it seems to shut itself down. So I've got a feeling that the, uh, the cooling around the main CPU heatsink is a little bit blocked with dust and debris and all sorts. So I was going to clean it out. So uh, if you want to watch that, um, stick around. I, I'll probably do this as bits and pieces rather than take everything to bits live. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll take the covers off and show you the bits and um, clean it up and put it back together. And hopefully it will still work. See you in a bit. So here we are, just taking the last few screws out of the fan assembly, don't drop them in the mechanism. And this particular fan assembly does both the graphics card and the CPU. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug it like that. This is the bit that uh, we're going to be uh, cleaning up. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the thermal compound on both this and these two chips. As you can see, it's, it's dried up and uh, isn't particularly good at the moment. And I'm also going to uh, clean up the, the fan and uh, just give it a little bit of lube, tiny little bit, nothing major, um, just to, uh, to make sure it's uh, not full of dust through the through the heat sink here um, and so that they can blow the heat away as uh, efficiently as possible. So um, let's start by uh, uh, getting rid of the computer out of the way. What I don't want to do is I don't want to blow any of the screws out of the way. So let's move that. Let's put that over to one side. Now I should have, uh, I say, I should have a can of air dusting or two. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm first of all just going to take the motor apart I will leave it alone then um, it seems to be spinning free so yeah let's put it back together and uh, work on cleaning the old uh, compound off okay so now we've got the cooler out um, and we've reassembled the fan. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, I've got that in a tin there. Um, I also have it in a five litre bottle. I'm just going to uh, try and dissolve and take off uh, the hardened stuff. Now because this has gone so hard I'm going to use the scalpel blade to just break it off. As you can see, you can see the metallic content of the the compound. Just going to scrape it off until we get a, a flat surface. So let's just tap off the muck, give it another spray, see if we can get any more 
off like that. Those larger bits there, let's see if they'll come off. Right, so that is now reasonably smooth. But what I'm going to do now is I will get some very, very fine um, wet and dry and just basically go over it again just to make sure it is as flat as I can get it. Right, okay, we couldn't find the ultra fine sandpaper, but we got something just as good. We got wire wool. So all we're doing is we're just polishing the surface. Making it as flat as we can. And that should make the best sort of heat transfer surface available. As you see, we're scratching it there, going one way, and then we can scratch it the other way, and polish those out, and it should come up to an almost mirror shine. Now, the reason they don't do this in the factory is it's quite labour intensive. So they go on the assumption that by the time this stuff dries up, um, you'd have bought yourself a new laptop because you'll want the latest and greatest. Um, unfortunately, most of us don't work like that. We work uh, on the assumption that we'll keep our laptops till they die for good. But what we'll do is we'll just tap that off. We'll move the steel wool out of the way because we don't actually want to get any steel wool inside the laptop. So that can now go in the bin. Let's get our isopropyl again. Just give good dousing on the uh, on the cloth, and this will degrease any finger marks or leftovers and I'm also going to be able to pick up that stray wire wall on the cloth. Let's just check that there's no more around there. And on that side. There we go. So that bit is now ready for the transfer compound but we've got to do the laptop first. So let's put that to one side now with this we have to be a little bit more gentle the scalpel is covered in magnetic bits of wire wool which is quite good because it means it's picked up all the loose stray bits and what we should use for this is we should use some cotton buds cut the cotton buds And again, we want to try and get this compound off the CPU. And we might have to resort to scraping looking at this. Oh, it is coming. Just taking a little while more than I uh, expected it to. And you just polish away until it's all clear. Okay, 
here we are we now have both the CPU and the graphics chip uh, cleaned up from all the old residue and uh, now we're just going to apply a very small amount of thermal compound to each of the devices. So then you just put the heat sink on and you actually smear the compound like this and then you can just lift it off again just to see that it has smoothed over and then we just add the screws back again so this is where we need our tiny screwdriver should just fit back where they were meant to. Be careful not to cross thread anything. Just uh, make sure that we're in the right slots. Yeah. So there we go. Replace the fan. Control like that. And don't forget to stick the wire back down to the board where it was stuck before. And that is the fan changed, hopefully, on a uh, Sony Vio laptop. And uh, all I've got to do now is uh, get the rest of the casing, put it back together. Here's the rest of the casing. Put it back together, slot everything back in, and uh, make sure it works. You don't want to watch me put all the screws in there screws on a laptop. We'll show you it in a minute. Right, so that's it. Everything's back together. Let's just clear up the bench a bit. Let's turn it over. Let's open it up. Got a bit of a dusty screen. Um, so I shall uh, get a air blower. Back in a cloth later. Um, the process of this is to actually just Make sure that it uh, it works. So let's turn it back on. It's certainly not started on high speed fans, which is a bonus. And let's see how well it starts up. It's thinking. Knows it's got memory and it hasn't complained about anything on the startup. So uh, we know we've got the RAM in place. Let's see. I'll fold it down like that. Then you can see it working. And we get the pretty picture. Do have a mouse in the middle. So there we go, asking for my password. Have you ever noticed how everybody's password is dots or stars? Yeah. This security must be hard to sort of work out. And it should, in theory, whack up to my wireless and say, hello. Well, it should. 
when it finally decides to. It's probably just saying, what happened? The last time it was actually in the process of installing Windows updates when it thermally shut down. So uh, it may, may, de may need a little bit of uh, recovery time. There we go. And I'm going to start the Windows 10 upgrade to the Creator Edition. There we go, it's thinking yes. So it should bring me the big window. Update now. Let's see, this will just take a moment. It actually takes, well, on my other machine, on my main video editing PC, it actually took several hours. Um, so, I was a little bit miffed. Now, it shouldn't have to download Windows 10 again, but it probably will. Um, it's also saying the battery's uh, not there and it's not connected to a network because the switch wasn't quite on. So let's flick the switch to on, it should find my network. There we go. And off it goes. So I think I shall leave that going and um, I have to go and get the power adapter from the other room because the battery looks like it's not charged enough to do anything worthwhile. And uh, I shall see you again in another video. I think we'll call that a success. Uh, I think we shall call that a success, seeing as I can't speak properly. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.